Okay, now as you see, they're looking at me for guidance, and I give them the signal to continue. There's some brush on this side of the trail that makes it a little bit of a hazard, but the dogs know what to do. They've learned to deal with this. <clears throat> some of the other mushers have left bags of something here on the side of the trail, but we're going to try to not let those distract us and just move on past after a cursory sniff. Um, possibly a little more than cursory. Okay, we're off again. We're traveling at, gosh, at incredible speeds. It's amazing that I can hold a video camera and the reins of the sled while we're going so fast. <clears throat> I think I've mentioned this before, but I don't put the booties on my dog's paws. I think that that's kind of a sissy thing, and these dogs are trail hardy. Their paws have developed calluses, like, like some of the best guitar pickers, and so they are just able to um, to go it. They're, they're two of the toughest ones in the competition. And that brings up another point. I Most of the mushers start with 16 dogs and then drop off. I think some of them go down to 12. But with two champions like these, I, I just stick with the two. I don't feel the need to have a great number like that. <clears throat> it's more dogs to feed, more dogs veterinary care. And you see how they're just masters of this sport. Their athletic ability is really unparalleled. <clears throat> they sense an obstacle here. They check it out. They know how to get around it. Look at that brown dog's maneuver. I mean, she is on top of her game today. <clears throat> They see the other, well, they smell the other 367 teams that have gone ahead of us. But our philosophy is, you know, if we are the last team into Talcatna or Unaclete or wherever, we really don't care. We feel we have done our best. We have not cheated we have just really trained for this and kept up with it and uh, you know we, we just don't feel any embarrassment about it now the weather is pretty good today we could we could use a little more snow I've been able to take off my hat and gloves which makes it easier to video here they are at another one of those obstacles and man they go they go to the side of it with no hesitation <clears throat> the trees are pretty thick in this area we're working around them I'm going to take a little break here to give the dog some instructions I'll try to continue this report in a little bit.